Liquid latex prosthetics can be tough to make, but they don't have to be. Right now, I'm going to show you how to make easy latex prosthetics only using a flat mold. Making liquid latex prosthetics, you will only need liquid latex, plaster, oil-based, and air-dried clay, water, a popsicle stick, Vaseline, a plate, sculpting tools, a bowl, and a heat gun. Taking the plate oil-based clay, I'm heating up the clay until it's soft enough to take some clay out so I can sculpt the wound that I want to make. Also, the products being used are listed below. Once I have the clay I need, I play around with the clay, trying to get the fake wound shape to look how I want. If the clay gets really stiff to work with, just heat it up a little bit. After a while, I finish the outside and opening of the wound. Now going in and making lacerations in the clay. I start off by scraping out the middle of the clay and leaving the edges of the wound looking roughed up. Then I add some depth into the clay to make it look really deep and gross. Once I finish the wound, I take the air dried clay and I'm going to create a ring around the sculpted out wound. This will hold the plaster for the prosthetic mold. Once that is done, press down the inside of the ring to make sure there are no holes in the ring of clay. On to making the plaster. I'm using plaster of Paris, so they call for one part plaster, two parts water. Now simply mix the plaster up until you get the consistency like pancake batter. Before pouring the plaster, coat the clay in a layer of Vaseline. This will prevent the clay from sticking to the finer details of your flat mold. Go over the clay walls as well with a thin layer too. Pour the plaster slowly into the mold to make sure there are no leaks. Once your plaster has been poured over the clay, then very gently shake your mold. This will get all the air bubbles out of the mold and prevent problems with the flat mold. Now let it sit until the plaster is solid. When the plaster is completely solid, I tear off the walls of the mold and gently pop the flat mold off the plate. Examine the flat mold and make sure there is no clay in the mold and it's all cleaned out. My flat mold is clean, so now I take my liquid latex and pour just a little bit over the flat mold. I'm taking a popsicle stick and taking off the excess liquid latex. Now, I let the liquid latex prosthetic dry overnight. After the liquid latex prosthetic is dry, take some baby powder and sprinkle a lot over the latex prosthetic. Find an edge and slowly brush under the edge of the prosthetic. I keep doing this until I can pull the mold off the plate. Now powder and peel the rest of the latex prosthetic until it comes off. Using powder is important. This makes sure the latex does not stick to itself. If it does, it could ruin the latex prosthetic. Once the liquid latex prosthetic is off, then you're finished. You can make as many liquid latex prosthetics as you want with this method.